My name is Howard Fishman and my project is called We Are Destroyed and it is a, we're calling it an opera now, which is kind of news to me because I didn't write it with the intention of it being an opera, but it's happening at the Abrams Art Center at the Henry Street Settlement uh, on April 24, 25, and 26. And it is a piece loosely based on the story of the Donner Party. Have you changed that much? Are you different? The project started years ago when I was in residence with my band at Joe's Pub. And uh, at the time, the Joe's Pub was, is part of the public theater. And the public theater was being run by the artistic director, George Wolf, who came to see me play. And he heard I had had a theater background, and he suggested I write a theater piece. And at the time, I, I happened to be reading about the Donner Party. And one thing sort of led to another in my mind, and I thought it might be interesting to start writing some songs around the story of the Donner Party, and as I read more about it, I became more interested in the less sensational aspects of what the story is, the cannibalism. The more I read about it, the more it became a very fascinating story about the American imagination and idealism and utopianism and arrogance and started imagining like what these people might have been going through to make them want to make such a drastic move in their lives. Um, heading west, they, they were part of the sort of first big uh, westward expansion. Willie and I have been having problems. He's upset with his father. I understand you don't want to go to California. You want to live in the past. I don't want to live in the past. Giving up on the way things are, here. Perhaps if I can show you. Even though it's called a chamber opera, the music is not operatic in a traditional sense. Uh, it's music that is very similar to the music that I write for my band. So it's really based in American roots music, in jazz, and country, and blues, and pop. Um, so don't let the opera throw you off. first time the, the piece has had any kind of extended rehearsal process and it's it's very exciting and I'm very happy that the Abrams exists because it's really the first place in New York that's given me the opportunity to, to really to really work on the project. Yeah.